Hey guys, welcome back to Welcome to Not Included, Clay the Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we have been on this cluster of asteroids. Can we please go to the map? Thank you. This cluster of asteroids for about 360 days now. Last time we worked on the oxygen system here, we're now producing enough oxygen to be able to deal with multiple duplicates, probably much more than we've got going on at the moment. We've got eight over here, we have got a massive three on this side, sorry it's five uh, at your kill, three over here, and none on Cherubi. This is something that I do wish to address, I feel like we can put in a, uh, a bedroom, a mess hall, and toilets, and then all the water that gets filtered and cleaned, because we've got chlorine down below, uh, can be dumped over here, but that's going to have to be for another day, because right now, right now as Jonesy is trying to show us and indeed as Bishop would show us we have got a serious stress problem on the go and this is something that I'm going to think we need to deal with straight away the second thing I want to get on with is of course our environmental hazard suits because that's what we've been working on for the last few episodes one of the things that I do notice is people go back and forth through this area quite a bit so if I bring up the uh, decor overlay you can see it's not the best and we could probably fix this with a few uh, simple additions. Mm, it's not great, is it? First thing I'm going to do, we're going to get rid of all this. This is, this is uh, some some uh, leftovers from a, from an older time. It's not sex. Uh, we, we need to, to get rid of all of uh, this. We used to turn all our polluted mud into uh, clean mud. Uh, clean dirt, sorry. Polluted dirt? I don't know. Whatever it turns into. And uh, water. But I want to now move these up here. These two have been up here for a very long time now. And I think we can quite easily just go ahead and steal one of these transformers. Just oh, I say still copy out one of these transformers. Uh, a little little bit of wire if I could please and bam we've got ourselves a fairly decent system there is no water on the go here but we can very easily swap that out just dumping all our water into our Paku farm down here I suppose it is kind of our Paku farm all we've been doing is dumping our seeds down here and just letting them breed at some point we might go for a bit more of a why are you not finding food a bit more of a formal system but Jonesy please please what's going on uh, Jonesy did eat a little bit of this Swampy Delights before running away. Okay, that's fair enough, as long as he's not starving anymore. But I've noticed that we've got actually a bit more of a problem with the uh, with the stress here than I realised. I mean, it's all going to be dealt with in pretty much the same way. I was going to give Jonesy a bedroom here and join him up to the mess uh, to the, the, the great hall that we're going to have going here. Uh, and then maybe have another room down below for another chef that we really quite badly... Not chef, sorry. Another gardener that we really quite badly need to get down here because they're not to look after the compost and the uh, and the farms but unfortunately with them also having to look after the ranches things have got a little bit much for Ripley uh, so yeah we're gonna we're gonna have to try and deal with that at some point there he goes jo Jonesy's going back for some food he just had to express how unhappy he was no he's actually cooking oh, all right my friend you do you you do you time that we replace this tiny bit of dirt here with a tile I think so first I'm gonna start oh it'd be easy there I, I want to start with this tile on the outside, uh, else we'd, we'd spill water around, and I'm not, I'm not about that. I'm not about that at all. I mean, against the power of the heavy watt wire, everything is just useless. Look at this decor, minus 148. So many people use this to have this, oh man, I, I don't know, this amount of decor drain. Hmm. Could be like maybe we could reroute it, but man, look, look at the spaghetti here. <laughs> So I suppose we could get a heavy watt plate and put it through, I mean it'd be good to put there, there, I think there's the good spot. Uh, and then we can take this wire back here, run it up this way and then we kind of avoid this set of stairs. Definitely going to have to do a little bit of a rewire here but that's, that's not the end of the world. Oh no, we're going to top out, Hicks is about to lose it. What's going to happen with Hicks when he, what, 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 does, what does he do, what does he do? He's gonna vomit everywhere. Okay, that's not the worst. That's not the worst. Okay, we, we, we can live with that. We can live with that. If we click on it, it doesn't take us to the cot when we click on it. That's that's a shame. I want to see what his living arrangements were like. I believe it's this one down here though, and it's not the worst, if I'm to be honest. It's not the best. It's not the worst. There he goes. There he goes. All right. Well, well, what what danger are we going to be in here? I mean, hopefully it's not the end of the world. Does it contain? No, there's no germs here. There's no germs here. That's fine. I mean, working conditions bad enough to make them throw up. It's all right as long as they don't unionize, right? That's 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 the long and the short of it. 
I don't think Hicks made it to bed last night because he was throwing up everywhere. That's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just make sure you wash your hands afterwards, buddy. That's, that's the important bit there. May have found the problem of why people are getting quite as stressed as they are. But honestly, it's a very, very important reason. So shall we uh, shall we do it to everyone? I, th I think everyone can get involved. Come on, guys. Ev everyone chip into this job here. If we all just take a little bit of stress, then surely we can just like share it out and Hicks can stop getting like 100% stressed. And Bishop, oh no. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to turn this off. We got very near, but people are starving. People have been starving for a while. Let's see how much food he's got left. Seven hundred. Yeah, he'll be okay. He'll be okay. But he's definitely a bit hungry. Okay, we've aimed to make everybody's lives just a little bit better. I'm putting down a bathroom, a mess hall, and then we're gonna have some uh, a little bit of a barracks on this side. Uh, I would have liked to have put everybody in individual uh, bedrooms, but this seems to be the best way. I'm wondering whether Ripley and her colleagues want to be over there, but that will give us more farming space. Do we need more farming space? I'm not entirely sure. We haven't quite utilized everything that we've got on this side, so we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. We, we earned an achievement? What achievement have we earned here? I don't know. It's the one year to be... Oh, oh, we've done a year. Woo! Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday. It's a bit of a shame that we're digging out this cobble. I, I, I kind of like to leave a few bits of rock lying around. Maybe not this, but, you know, a few bits of rock lying around to remind us of uh, of, of where we are. We're, the, we're not just in some sterile, duplicate-built area. We did actually land on a rock once upon a time. So if we've got the majority of the form working, I was uh, open and ahhing about what floor tile to put in here. I would ideally like to put a, uh, t a carpeted tile in here, but obviously we've only got so many thimble reeds to go around. Let's have a look at the moment. We've got 22 reed fibers. That's quite a lot, actually. That is quite a lot. Don't think it's quite enough uh, that we want. We do, of course, need to make the exosuits. Uh, and this little space here, sorry, this space here uh, is maybe just one block short. I really want to build the next car Ooh, let's move up over here uh, because I need to leave, leave a space on this side because of course Bishop I mean are we gonna leave Bishop out here maybe we will seal this off yeah actually no we will we will seal this off we'll sort out another light system for the uh, the research here in fact the research might even move this looks like it's gonna turn into just a corridor uh, and we'll like spam it with all sorts of nice decor stuff so that people feel good and wonderful when they're walking through here with the building of this door, we should get two separate rooms building up here. Of course, he'll now do the, the dining table first. Fine, fine, that's okay. We don't mind what order things get done here, as long as they do get done. There we go, mess hall. This room, of course, going to be a toilet, a latrine. Uh, that That's going to work out pretty well for us. I would have liked to have put the uh, the shower also in there. You can see how we've got a shower on the end of this one. Anything that churns over more polluted water so that we could uh, either clean it for oxygen or feed it to the plants is good. But th this is a uh, compromise we're going to have to make for the size the same as like with this cot placement over here this does mean i'm working towards getting rid of this old bathroom here having a fresh supply of dirt to keep the composters turning over is nice and in fact i think we're actually going to deconstruct these bottom ones now uh because we're starting to slow down we're starting to slow down as you can see most of this is awaiting compostables uh so let's let, let's start focusing Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to move Bishop down here. We're going to put down a cot for him, and we're going to come into the furniture. We're going to get the lamp out. If we look at the radius, this uh, being one block higher specifically misses out this cot. Bam. We're going to pop it there, and Bishop is going to have a wonderful time. Of course, one of, we now need to just absolutely laden this place with uh, wonderful things to hang above their beds. Uh, maybe that's not the side to do it. And even though we don't have anyone to do any sculpting, we can pop down some sculpting blocks in between. Maybe they'll just appreciate appreciate the lumps of stone maybe I don't know yeah the sculpting blocks help okay mostly we've made this place nicer oh look at this we've got a bit of a bit of a hanging pot going in there that's cool that's cool trying to get everyone to pick up the debris that they've left behind is a bit of a mission but I think I, after a little while Ash should come along and put everything into the central pile down this way that would be cool you can see that I've started putting up my uh, my exosuit forge here we'll just grab this wire there's potential to go over wattage here but I think okay interesting uh, I think we'll be fine now interesting the sinks add positive decor and the toilets take it away sinks slightly more than the toilets okay cool okay are we gonna make the drastic step of now culling these I think so I think so I mean we might run out of dirt to feed our sage hatchlings here 
Yeah, in fact, people aren't bringing dirt over. Hmm, I wonder where it's at. Look, there's a bunch, and there's a load down here as well. Hmm. It's nice when the whole team comes along and works together. I'm wondering if there's people, yeah, currently delivering stuff. Bishop is, oh, all the way over there. Still not having the best of times, is he? Let's, uh, let's have a look and follow him here. I want to have a look at his stress levels. I mean, a kind of good, kind of bad. Low oxygen seems to be the overriding problem, but he also likes to walk through water and get mucky feet and stuff like that, and that's that's never great. Still waiting for people to take down this power line that I'm trying to move away. At the moment, all I've done is make this area twice as bad. Oh, it's been a long, long build process. I mean, literally watching that bar go across has been one of the longer ones, but we are here. No fabrications queued, I beg to differ. Should we do the copper ones or maybe the aluminium? Let's go with the aluminium. I'm going to queue up three of them. I don't know how many I'm going to end up needing. Over here, we should be able to turn aluminium to aluminium or they don't like it. Okay, I'm going to come along. I'm just going to, I'm just going to add ten to the list here. And then we're going to look around. There's a bunch of copper. Maybe we'll do copper. There's so much more copper than aluminium. Okay, all right, all right. Stop this process. Let's go the other way. Okay, I've also gone down to two just to, you know, temper my expectations a little bit. They all settle down for the night. After having a good meal and a beautiful little room, we can see that the uh, the level level of stress in the uh, colony is just slowly dropping. It's taking its time. It really is taking its time. But, you know, we've gone from 90s down to 70s. This is good. So giving them their own bedroom, mess hall, toilets, and just generally making the place a lot nicer for them seems to have really done the trick bringing down their stress levels. That's worked really well. Uh, just one more thing that I want to get on with before we make sure that people are super, super pumping towards the copper here. I'm sure I already set some of that up. That probably means some, really, some of it's already been made and this just isn't a high enough uh, priority to get looked at. Okay, we'll work on that, but first, I want to make some rooms for Jonesy because he works in the in the kitchen. We're going to make a bedroom for him here. We're going to give him a mess table right there like so. You can see sort of the double pattern uh, appearing over there. We'll give him a, a, a wall plant rather than a floor plant. Maybe destroy this tile as well and make another one down here. This will enable us to have another cook. No, sorry. Another farmer slash rancher enter the system. And that, that's something we really need. Oh. I think Bishop's got in one of my favourite loops in the game where he destroys the tile from underneath him, goes, oh no, and then jumps over one more. I, I think it's great. Is he going to do it this time? I notice he just kind of jumped. There it is. Ah, oh, it's great. I love it. <laughs> In the background, we have hit a pretty serious situation. One that I wasn't quite aware of or sure how we're going to deal with. Over on this side, our cool slush guys are the thing that's producing all of our polluted water has gone to sleep. It's dormant. 60 cycles. 60. Um, I mean, that's going to disappear before we know it. And we're still getting oxygen and stuff like that. But a lot of our farm crops rely quite heavily on that polluted water. So we're just going to have to try and keep our little sages turning over here. Why are these guys not being fed? Let's turn that up a little bit. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully we can keep our, uh, our meat stocks ahead enough that we can survive on barbecue? Question mark? Okay, with the flower pot in place, I think we can officially say this is habitable here. So we're going to get Jonesy in. Uh, we're going to give him the cot and we're going to give him the mess table. This, of course, leaves this cot open where we're going to move Ash in because she was living down here. Uh, it was horrible. Let's deconstruct that. It was full of horrible polluted oxygen, but over time we've managed to scrub that clean. But look at the decor around it. Just look. Oh, no, that's not human livable. I mean, she is a dupe, couldn't know a human, but the, we don't draw distinctions here. Okay, here we go. We're making our first Exo Forge suits. Uh, I've just sorry, so Exo suits in the Exo Suit Forge. Uh, I have realised that maybe, maybe we need to go and have a look over at Tirano. Not only are people completely just idle; they're not sure what they're doing. By the way, I had to scrub random random as completely clean of all his skills. He just kept on getting a little bit stressed out. We're gonna get rid of this uh, skill scrubber over here, and we're gonna replace it with its own Exo Suit Forge because this is the area where we want to be. Uh, making use of them. In fact, I'm going to rip down this airflow tile here and we're going to put a, a checkpoint and a dock down here. Hopefully this is the right way. Yeah, we want to be going in that direction there. Uh, is one enough? I don't think it is actually. We're going to wait until this one gets destroyed and then we'll go do, do two. 
might be some some piping issues that we have to rearrange. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. No, no, no. It comes in through the bottom. Beautiful, beautiful. Right. We, we, now where's where's the oxygen line? Here it is. All right. Cool. You guys are going to be busy for a little while. You're going to be very busy for a little while. Okay, we're gonna leave them with. The, uh, there's there's gonna be a power issue here, right? Oh look, oh okay, that's mildly concerning, but I think we'll be okay. I don't know how much they draw power-wise, but what have we got on the line already? It's got a five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, no, we we should be fine. We should be fine. It shouldn't be drawing too much power. All right, leave these guys as I was saying, and uh, what's going on over here? We got an exosuit on the floor. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Have we done all of them? We have done all of them. How is the farm looking? A little bit worried that right now, because of the uh, dormant, because of the dormant uh, geyser over there, the only irrigation these sets of plants here are getting, the thimble reed and the bog bucket, is our toilet water. Tasty, right? Okay, one of the last things I'm doing here, gonna go sweep only polluted water. I've turned this one right down to a super low priority. In fact, I might even just deconstruct this one. I don't think we need to do anything with it anymore as we only have this polluted water left. Now, obviously all the other polluted water that we could pick up in the future would be uh, germy from people making a mess or uh, it turns out vomiting doesn't make germ. So I've set this up over here. This will the water into the same uh, pipe network as the uh, as the rest of the polluted water here uh, and should get it all clean nicely in this this little device we've got over here this of course exposing everything to the chlorine that we've got in this room let me just pop this onto gas you can see it's a full chlorine environment here dumps it all into the liquid res reservoir where it's exposed to the chlorine the, the food poisoning slowly dies and this uh, liquid pipe germ sensor turns this liquid shut off on and off to turn the uh, to make sure the polluted water is entirely germ free so now we should be able to put oh jonesy that that's bad look at all this polluted water here but they should be able to go in and it just immediately outgas is that, is that what happened there i didn't see any go into the into the pipe anyway i say that was the last thing we needed to do atmosphere suit let's come up to the teleporter over here somewhere in here i have no idea why uh where i have no idea where clothing atmosphere suit send them through hopefully someone's almost immediately on it you know what let's let's just make it the most important thing in the universe okay here they go through the system it always takes a little bit longer than i imagined because it needs to go up and through this conveyor line here looking at the overlay didn't help at all because the building was in the way beautiful oh wonderful uh on this side the teleport receiver comes out over this side we've got some roasted grub fruit nut because that came through as well as well as two atmosphere suits which i should be able to go hey could you just deliver these down here for me please oh and we're getting the oxygen through oh that's beautiful of course, we are going to need this exosuit forge here. Ooh, no one's got super hard digging. Ah, oh, Eric loves to do this. Let's do those two for him. Is it still good morale? It's still good morale. Okay, cool, cool. And now he should be able to go and do the exosuit forge uh, because exosuits wear out now. Yeah, I, I know. I was a little bit like, what? Myself. But uh, uh, fair enough. I suppose this is a game of consumption. <laughs> Well, excuse me, excuse me, our oxygen is coming through with food poisoning. Excuse me, why have we got food poisoning in our oxygen? Let's come over to your kill. Uh, we want to be down this way. Oh, it's in the water. Oh, it's in the water. I've made a mistake somewhere along the line, haven't I? Oh, no. It's in the water sieve. Mm, okay, that's, that's what we're going to have to try and deal with here first. I mean, it almost looks like we could just... It's here, it's in this water. Oh, no. How did it get down here? Well, looking at the food poisoning, we're gonna have to get this place hot. Whilst that does that, I'm just gonna seal the whole area in. So what have I gone through all this expenditure of effort, materials, and duplicate time? Well, uh, the other side of this atmosphere suit jock uh, checkpoint. Wow, that was a tongue twister. We've got my slickster. This guy's been living his own happy little life down here, fully wild, because uh, we can't get the rancher down here because it's nearly 100 degrees C. And that's right, we did all of this just so we could start getting our slickster ranch on the way. I mean, I say just, oh, we're getting our slickster ranching underway. 
With Honza now down here stroking the slicks though we should be able to get a little bit of the wildness starting to come down. The whole time he's been t uh, groomed and stuff you can see we are losing 55% 50, 50, uh, of that wildness per cycle. In two cycles we're going to have a fully tame creature. Why would we want to do that? Because tame creatures make more eggs and I want a lot of these slicksters. But with that I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys and next time what well, we're going to expect and our way into the future. We need a few more things to do over here on Turanu, but of course Yakil is our, our place of focus for a little while, but I will see you then or when we're gonna do that. Bye!